In this bonus chapter, we'll look at a few more of the hidden gems in Iris. Now that you have a good feel for how to manipulate sound using Iris, let's take a quick look at some of the sounds that come with Iris. Open the Patch Browser and click on Full Browser. Navigate to the Samples tab and let's have a look around. When you downloaded Iris, you downloaded a terrific sample library too. There are some classic and highly usable samples in here for day-to-day -day Foley work and sound design stuff. Click on the Abstract folder and scroll down to Vinyl Crackle. Or if you twirl open the Environment folder and select Ambiences, you have everything from the Bath Band series to House Party Foley Steps and Market Ambience. And further down are a lot of samples from a Las Vegas casino. How do you get that job? Further down, we have ambiences for rain. And under vehicles are some other very usable sounds. Part of the reason why we wanted to put this chapter together is because you could play with Iris as a musical tool for a long time and never know this stuff was in here. Just a few more, then we'll move on. Under the industrial folder are all kinds of tool samples, and with just a little tweaking, these can become evil spaceships and giant robots. For example, check out Big Lathe Power Up. Okay, now double click it to load it into voice one. Now you can see that its root note is B7, but take the frequency and time select tool and grab the area around these white diagonal lines. That's the part of the sound where you hear the machine accelerating. Now make sure to grab all the way down into the low frequency content. Now play it one octave lower and slower than the original. Okay, now take the same tool again and Grab a few just random horizontal stripes of higher frequency content just up above the main area. Now this is getting cool. Now to introduce what's effectively a filter sweep, take the eraser, scale it down to about mid-size, and let's knock out a diagonal line from the main area. Now listen. Okay, grab the magic wand tool and click on any sharp points or strange edges you can find. Now finally, let's shrink the eraser way down and make some opposing diagonal slashes through the box. When speaking of sounds, there are two other terrific libraries available from Isotope, the Wood Library and the Glass Library. Now you'll see plenty of demos of each of these on the Isotope website, I'm sure, but here are just a few ticklers.
Now you may have noticed that a lot of these sounds are terrific percussive sounds, and you could be wondering what's the best way to incorporate iris as a rhythm synth. Well, there are probably as many answers to that as there are DAWs, but here's a fairly straightforward technique you can use. Here I'm running Iris as a plugin inside of Cubase, and you can see that Iris is empty. Now I used Beat Designer to create a basic kick snare hat pattern, and I've inserted that into track one. Now if you look at the miniature keyboard in Iris, you can see which keys are receiving note data because they light up. So now I'll load a sample into voice one, and I'm just going to kind of pick something. Next, open the mapping window, and then adjust the range so that voice one is only responding to the kick drum. Now, watch this. I'm going to use the different tools to grab different selections of the waveform until I have something that I like. Now I'll load up voice two. And again for voice three. And to help juice up the rhythmic complexity, let's go to the mix view and put the effects into send. Now go to the all view, select the sound that's functioning as your snare. And over in the control panel, you can open up the delay unit for this sound just by using the reveal triangle above the delay knob. Make sure that hot sync is on. And now you can adjust the time values and feedback for the left and right channels independently to get even more bounce in the beat.